Hey guys, ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 10.12 has been released, and like with all new releases of LaunchBox and Big Box, there's some fixes, improvements, and some awesome new features. Now with the release of 10.12, there's one major new feature that I'm personally super excited about, and I hope you will be too as soon as you find out about it. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. First on the list, a new MAME community high score system has been built in LaunchBox and Big Box. Now this is going to allow us to share and compare our high scores in MAME arcade games. I'm going to show you how to enable it. It's very simple to do, but the first thing you'll need is a LaunchBox Games Database account. You can create one here. I'll leave a link for this in the description. This is different from your forum account. Just go ahead and register a new account. Make sure you remember the email and password because we're going to need this to enable the MAME high score system. So here we are with LaunchBox 10.12. I'm going to head to my arcade section. All of this is running inside of MAME. Now, unfortunately, with this setup here, not every single game is going to support a high score system, but there are tons of great games that do, and more are being added all the time. So for instance, let's go ahead and check out 1942. Now I've already set this up and I'm going to show you how to do it, it's super simple to do. But you might notice over here in my games detail, we have a new community leaderboard. Now if I just click on the first name here, it'll bring up a window. We have weekly high scores for this specific game, monthly high scores, yearly, all time. We also have most popular games, trending games, and top players. So as long as this is enabled properly, it will automatically upload your high score from that game you're playing. Now, like I mentioned, not every single game is supported, but there is an easy way to find out. I'm gonna head over here to my drop-down menu, MAME High Score Supported. I'm gonna choose Yes, and now we can see all the MAME games that support high scores. One of my favorites, Right here, Altered Beast, we have our high scores. And this also works inside a big box. I'm going to go ahead and start that now. So I'm already at the arcade section. We'll start with this one right here. View high scores. And there we have it. Weekly, monthly, yearly, all time, most popular games, trending games, and top players. So it's super simple to use inside of LaunchBox and Big Box. And I think the best part about this is the way you set it up. I mean, it's really easy to do. So obviously, first things first, you'll need to import your MAME games and be running them with the MAME emulator. We have a full tutorial. I'll leave a link for that in the description. But if you already have that set up, let's go ahead and enable our high scores. So from the drop down menu, first thing we want to do is go to cloud. We need to connect to the LaunchBox games database. Put in your email and password. Like I mentioned, this is different from your forum account. You will have to create a LaunchBox Games Database account. It's free to do. So once you're signed into the Games Database, we're going to go back up to the drop-down, Tools, Options, and from here, under Integrations, we have a section called MAME. Make sure you have Download MAME Community Leaderboards from the LaunchBox Games Database chosen, and also upload your MAME high scores. So both of these need to be checked. Click OK. And now it's going to do it in the background for you. When you start a game that supports high scores, like 1941, 1942, 1943, so on and so on, it will automatically upload your high score. Now if we take a look here, when you get your high score, you can also put your initials in through the game, and they'll show up after your LaunchBox Games database name. And that's pretty much it. It's automatically going to upload your score for you, and you'll be on the community leaderboard. There are a couple things to keep in mind with the MAME community leaderboards. Now, autosave cannot be enabled in your MAME configuration if you want it to upload properly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we suggest turning autosave off. And another thing to keep in mind, if you have cheats enabled in MAME, go ahead and turn them off because it's not going to upload your score anyway. Any attempts to game the system to get a higher score than anybody else or get on the leaderboard cheating in any way, there's a good chance your LaunchBox Games Database account could be banned. So we really don't want any cheating over here. We want to keep it fair for everybody. I personally love this new feature. I love the idea behind it, and I've been playing a lot more of these MAME games that support high scores just to kind of move up in the leaderboards. If we go over here, we got the top players, Ed209, number one, it's not fair because there's a robot play in there, AndyCo47, Retro808, number three, Jason Carr, number four, 
and I'm number 21. I'll definitely be knocked down very quickly as soon as more people start using this. But overall, I think this is a great feature built into LaunchBox and BigBox. I know I spent a lot of time on that new feature, but I really like it and hope you also enjoy it. It's just something really awesome that we can get together as a community and kind of compete for high scores. Next on the list, an import process for Epic Games, or the Epic Game Store. Now, I completely understand that there's a lot of different game stores nowadays, a lot of different game launchers. We got GOG, Steam, I think Twitch has one, Amazon has one, Uplay, Origin, and there's a ton more. But I've actually been using Epic Games a lot lately, mainly because of the free games they've been giving away. And if you haven't downloaded this yet, definitely just give it a try. You don't have to download Fortnite. Nobody wants to play that. But they have been giving away some awesome games the past few months, and we now have a way to import those into LaunchBox. Very simple to do, just like the GOG or the Steam import. We'll head over to our drop-down menu, Tools, Import, and we now have a section for Epic Games. So I'm just gonna walk through this real quick. I'm gonna import them as Windows games. I'm going to prioritize Epic Games metadata, do the box art. I don't want to specify any custom options, and it's going to ask us to sign in to Epic Games. So I'll just click yes here. It'll give us our pop-up window. I'm going to sign in real quick. So once you're signed in, it'll populate your list here. You can choose all the games you own on the Epic Store or just check the ones that are installed. So check installed, check not installed. I'm just going to go with the ones I have installed, click finish. It's going to download all of our metadata and box art and import our games from the Epic Store. And there we have it. I've now imported my PC games from the Epic Store. I got Red Dead Redemption 2 and Dauntless. These were the only two I had installed on this system. But it's easy to use, and it's now integrated into LaunchBox and BigBox. So those were the main new features added to LaunchBox 10.12. We still got some improvements and fixes. And like always, I'll leave a link in the description to the changelog so you can check those out. I'm super excited about this new MAME community high score system and really hope you guys enjoy using it. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy this new release. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>